Soyuz crew is safe following a launch anomaly, another major hurricane seen from space, and testing continues for the rocket engine that will power us to deep space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Shortly after the October 11th launch of a Soyuz spacecraft carrying our Nick Hague and Russia's Alexei Ovchinin to the International Space Station, there was an anomaly with a booster and the launch ascent was aborted, resulting in a ballistic landing of the spacecraft in Kazakhstan. Hague and Ovchinin were recovered safely from the capsule and both are in good condition. The crew on board the space station, including our Serena Anand Chancellor, were informed of the launch abort and are continuing with normal station operations. Meanwhile, Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, has formed a commission to assess the root cause of the failure, an investigation that our administrator, Jim Bridenstine, says NASA will fully support. We want to make sure that when we do launch again, and, and, and I, I believe we will launch again on a Soyuz rocket, um, that, we, that we understand uh, what this anomaly was, that we resolve it, uh, and that together we can uh, launch again and have success. NASA and the International Space Station partners also will review upcoming operational schedules, including the plan for two spacewalks targeted later in October. Jim Morehart has been confirmed by the U.S. Senate to be our 14th Deputy Administrator. Morehart has previously served as the Senate's Deputy Sergeant at Arms and as Staff Director of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Administrator Bridenstine welcomed him aboard, noting in a statement that Morehart's legislative and managerial talents will serve the agency well. Cameras outside the space station captured views of Hurricane Michael on October 9th as it moved northwest through the Gulf of Mexico that day as a Category 3 storm. The following day, Michael nearly reached Category 5 status as it made landfall near Mexico Beach in the Florida Panhandle with winds of about 155 miles per hour. On October 11th, our Stennis Space Center in Mississippi tested an RS-25 engine with a hot fire of 500 seconds. That's over eight minutes. The test the fourth in a series that will extend into next year, featured an acceptance test of an RS-25 engine controller for use on a future flight of our new Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket. SLS will use four RS-25s to launch astronauts in our Orion spacecraft to deep space destinations, including to the vicinity of the Moon and Mars. Our Hubble Space Telescope remains in safe mode following the recent failure of one of the telescope's three gyroscopes that was actively being used to point and steady Hubble. Safe mode puts the telescope into a stable configuration until ground control can correct the issue and return the mission to normal operation. Hubble's instruments still are fully operational and are expected to produce excellent science for years to come. During an October 11th event at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., the U.S. Mint unveiled the winning design for a series of commemorative coins to recognize the upcoming 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission's historic landing on the moon. July 20th, 2019 will mark 50 years since astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended to the lunar surface while crewmate Michael Collins orbited above. Then Armstrong, followed by Aldrin, became the first humans to set foot on a celestial body other than Earth. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.